This gives Joanna exposure to new ideas and thought processes that she could have never imagined alone. Well, this is super cool, actually. Um, everything AI powered, yes. I just love this. I just gotta let you all know, like, this is so neat, and would love to talk to your team more about what you're building. Hi, my name is Joanna, a co-founder of Pebble Map, an AI-powered mind mapping tool. Let me tell you all a story. Last year, I had to write a 20-page paper for my AP research class. The hardest part, though, was, well, the start. I knew I wanted to talk about social media and mental health, but I kept getting stuck. I would look at a blank screen for hours on end with no progress. At that moment, all I wanted was a tool where I could type in my topic and have it instantly generate a list of ideas that I could write about. And this was the genesis of Pebble Map. Pebble Map is an AI-powered mind mapping tool designed to help students brainstorm and build upon their research ideas. Let's take a look at a demo of our product. When Joanna first visits the Pebble Map site, she enters social media and mental health and is met almost instantly with relevant topics and questions that will allow her to dive deeper into her areas of interest. This gives Joanna exposure to new ideas and thought processes that she could have never imagined alone, enhancing her creativity and opening up her mind to new ways of thinking. As Joanna continues to develop her idea, she's able to reorganize the boxes to best fit her train of thought, and also enter in her own topics to expand upon. This process is extremely efficient, as Joanna can as jo this process is extremely efficient, as Joanna can go from a short form prompt to an entire research paper outline in just seconds, all powered by a single line of text. The three key components that Pebble Map offers are enhanced creativity, customization, and efficiency, which lead the user to saving time and writing more. Now let's talk about how we're gonna profit off this. Our business model is freemium, where the free version is targeted towards students, and our premium model is geared towards more higher end customers, like research teams with advanced features like the ability to share and collaborate with others and also save your past work for $15 a month. We also plan on expanding to use paid ads as another source of revenue once we gain 1,000 monthly users. We're proud to announce that Pebble Maps got legs. In under six days, we've generated over 500 unique visitors to our site. Our product might be great, but is there even a market for it? Well, the global market size for researchers is worth $84 billion. Narrowing that market down to just academic researchers, it amounts to $10 billion. And the specific that market that we're targeting, which are college and high school age students and researchers, that market is worth $1.5 billion. In this market, we have quite a few competitors, such as Whimsical, Myro, and GitMine, all of which lack organization and relevant AI feedback. This pushes users towards more traditional methods of brainstorming, such as Google Docs and handwritten notes. Unlike them, Pelmap, off, Pelmap is specifically engineered to provide users with inspiration rather than providing them with strictly answer-based responses. But that's not it. By the end of 2023, we plan to finish developing our premium version. By end of Q1 2024, we'll start running ads on our platform, and by Q2 2024, we'll be partnering with educational institutions. In order to ach achieve this faster, we'll be asking for $80,000 to split between operations, marketing, and legal fees. Meet the team behind Pelmap. We're a well-rounded group of individuals with a strong dynamic. Not only are we building this tool, but we are the target market. We understand this problem firsthand and are building a solution that truly works. So what can you do with Pelmap? Well, the possibilities are endless. For example, you can go from a spark of an idea to absolutely nailing a VC pitch, like we just did. <laughs> that, that was our Pelmap. What's yours? Thank you. <laughs> Oh. 
Well, this is super cool, actually. Um, everything AI powered, yes. Um, <laughs> I didn't see anything to, towards the, the cost allocated to the development of the product. I mean, you, you're building an AI powered company, right? So, yeah, it's just so how do you plan to do that? Yeah, so our operation costs, so we're dedicating $40,000 over $50,000 towards operations for a software developer that can help us like uh, uh, launch this website and make the features. I guess one, as you were showing, sorry, hopefully, oh, there we go. Um, as you were showing the competitors, I guess one thing that came to mind is, you know, what if Miro just adds, you know, or mind map is another side of these, like what if those just start adding AI prompting? Um, yeah, so that's a great question. So in terms of defensibility, like, yeah, they technically could, but um, our key differentiation factor is that with something like Miro, it's so general. There's like, it's mind map for collaboration for teams, uh, for just like organizing just other things in general, whereas we specifically focus on research and that's why a prompt engineering is best suited for it. Because we're not, right now if you go on Miro, it has a lot of like different directions you can do, go and because it's specifically, it's like targeted for everyone and therefore it's really hard to solve the specific pain point of research that our AI mind map can cover. This is very cool. I'm like sucked into your product right now. <laughs> Thank you. Um, very, very neat. Um, $15 a month though feels just intuitively a little expensive right off the cuff. I'm curious where you came up with that number. Yeah, so basically uh, for our premium model, we're not, obviously we're not done developing that yet. So we're kind of, playing around with what kind of features. And I think we have to first like get our product out there with our free version to see what users really value. And then we can cater our premium offerings towards that. So we do plan on like playing around with it a little bit and it's not set in stone. Uh, do you know any, I mean, any idea about the, uh, what the churn would look like? Uh, why would people come back to use the product and how long would they use it? Sorry, uh, are you asking about like... Yeah, like uh, maybe a simple question is how long do you think they're going to use the service once they sign up for the premium plan? Um, I can answer that question. So research requires a lot of topics, subtopics, and information that has to be in those, like in the general like body paragraphs. And so our targeting is for like researchers in general, so right? So how many months? I'm sorry, just to... Yeah, how many months do you think they're going to use your premium membership? Well, research can can be like broad they can use they can have like multiple papers that are happening at the same time so technically they could use our product for as long as they would want i think to put it into perspective for me personally when i do uh, like school i think i have like an english and like history and there's a lot of classes that i have to write the essays for so specifically for students especially during the school year it would be constantly a tool that me personally i would be able to use Sorry about that. That was very convoluted. So in terms of, I guess, your target customer, target segment, is it high school students, middle school students, college students, academic, you know, professional researchers? I think right now we're focusing more on high school students and maybe college students, but we want to expand more to professionals once we have developed the premium version. Great. Any final questions? I just love this. I just got to let you all know, like, this is so neat. It feels like a better sort of Wikipedia for the ADHD brain of like, oh, little snippets of interesting things. Um, and would love to talk to your team more about what you're building. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.